what can I say? I'm literally Michael Corleone from The Godfather. Because right when Madden and YouTube, I think I'm free, I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Yes, I finally bought Madden 20. I broke down and I finally bought it because I wanted to see what all the hoopla and what all the hype and what all the, the complaints were about. So I get the game. I throw it in last night and I play and you know what? It is fun. It's got serious glitches. Yes, the, the passing game has been fucking turned up to like a hundred. So it's harder to pass unless you have an X factor and uh, running the ball is super easy. So with my pass happy system, we might have to go to a more balanced attack with Madden 20, but we'll see, especially with after all the patches and everything else that they've done. Um, so here is what I thought, guys. Um, I'm gonna do a franchise. I'm gonna come back to YouTube and I'm gonna do a fucking franchise. And that's what I decided. Um, do I wanna do a relocation? Not just yet. We'll we'll see how, how this one goes, and we'll see how everything turns out. So at that point, do I want to do a realistic franchise? Uh, I went through all the teams, and I decided not really. No, I want to have fun. I want to do a, a, a franchise that is more up my alley, uh, something that you've seen the likes of, of me and... Param Crow and a bunch of other people do, um, and that is, I'm not exactly going to trash the team, but I'm going to try to make it as competitive as possible. So, with that being said, the team I've chosen to do for this series, ready? Drum roll, guys. The team is the Jets. So what are we going to do with the Jets? Well, obviously, I don't want to completely trash the team. I don't want to completely trash the team. I don't want to completely tank for the first season. Um, but I do want to make it competitive, and I do want to have my own players that I like and that I uh, that I want to play with in this game because I want to see how they play. Um, so with that being said, I am obviously going to get rid of that atrocious Le'Veon Bell contract. Um, CJ Mosley is good, but I'm pretty certain we can actually use him as trade bait. So that's what we're going to do here, guys. We are going to take the Jets and we are going to mold them and we are going to build them in our image. And along the way, we're going to try to have some fun with it. So we are going to create a completely new, completely original storyline for this series. And I sat down last night and I was literally up till about three o'clock in the morning writing out what I wanted to do with the series and where I wanted to go with it. Um, and to be honest, guys, literally to be honest, I literally chose the Jets for two reasons. One, their new uniforms. I love them. I don't know why, but I love them. Especially that black and green one. Oh, man, that is nice. I like that one. I really like that one. But also, number two. What's number two, you ask? Well, you saw it on the thumbnail to this episode. You saw Adam Gase's weird-looking fucking eyes. And that is why I chose it. Jets owner Woody Johnson has suffered a heart attack following an offseason that had former GM Mike McCagnan make some of the worst free agency and draft choices in franchise history. So Rex Ryan, along with Jeff Ireland, have been brought back in to put Gangrene back on the path to competing for a Lombardi Trophy and fixing the mistakes the former GM and former coaches have made to this franchise. The one and only stipulation Woody has made towards Rex and Jeff is this. You must keep Adam Gase as head coach. Anything else goes for this franchise. So right away, Rex has decided this is what we're going to do. You, Adam, 
are going to control the offense. You are going to make the attack plan everything else. Rex himself, as well as being co-GM of this franchise, is also going to be in charge of the defense along with his brother. And in doing so, hopefully, we're going to return Gang Green to defensive prominence in the NFL. So, let me make some moves, and when I get back, I will show you what our team looks like. Well, it took a couple weeks. It took a lot of wheeling and dealing on the part of Rex and Jeff to get this done. But honestly, I think we are at the point to where we have a team that we will be competitive this year. We might not get far, but we'll be competitive. We're not going to tank. We're not the Dolphins. We're not going to tank. But we have a team to where we can build an add-on for the future. Hold your breath, guys. Here we go. So first off, we traded and got Josh Allen from the Bills. We also got somebody else from the Bills that I'm going to show you in just a little bit. But trust me, it took a lot to get this going and get this done. So who's our next guy? Let's take a look. Justice Hill. You know I love this guy. You know I called this guy my own personal adopted son. I love this guy. We are going to be running him up one side and down the other, and we can build him up from there. We signed Dimitri Flowers out of free agency as a fullback because we do need those for goal line stands. Antonio Brown was more than happy enough to come in and earn $10 million for one year to play with us as well as keeping Jamison Crowder. I traded for Nicole Hardman. I kept Berrios. And since, you know, the Bears wanted to drop my other adopted son, Emmanuel Hall, we just had to. Like, guys, we had to pick him up out of free agency because this guy, along with Hardman, is going to be a major, major contributor on this team. And on this offense. Side note, guys, I don't know if this is a glitch in the game, but there is no penalty for any, any rookie that we're trading for in this game. Now, we have trade penalties for our own rookies, but when I went into trade, there were no penalties for any rookie that I traded for. That's Kind of weird, right? So we decided to keep the, the tight end class that we already had, which is going to be Herndon, Wesco, and Hodges. I don't know why they changed it from Bucky to Tremunchen, but whatever. Um, we switched Shell from right tackle to left tackle for the time being. Gossett is going to be our left guard. Teller is going to be our other guard. And then Alex Lewis is going to be our right tackle for the time being. We're going to bring people in through the draft and everything else. Trades, I'm not too sure about. I'll leave that up to you guys. Leonard Williams is going to be our starting left end. And because we went over to a 3-4 defense instead of Gase's 4-3, we go went ahead and took Quinn Williams from defensive tackle and moved him over to right end to match him up with Williams. So we got, basically we can say we got the Williams brothers, even though they're not even related. Go figure, right? And then at defensive tackle, guys, we simply kept what was already there. Um, McClendon is old. You know, I don't like working with old guys, but he's 79, so we had to do that. Uh, we brought in Coley to back him up in case he does get hurt because he is 33. He's getting old. He's getting up there. As far as left outside linebacker, we traded for Rashawn Gary. He's a 72, so that was not too hard at all, let me tell you. And his speed... Oh boy, he's going to wreck some shit off the edge, let me tell you. Now, middle linebacker. We did get rid of Avery Williams and we got rid of CJ Mosley, but we did bring in Devin White to match him up with his speed and strength to Blake Cashman's speed and strength. So I think those two in the middle are going to be a deadly combination going forward. I really, really believe that, guys. They have a very similar play style between the two of them. 
They're both fast, they're both aggressive, they're both strong, and they're both mean as hell. Now, we went ahead and kept Jordan Jenkins as our starting right outside linebacker. So between him and Rashawn Gary, we should be getting adequate pressure off the edge. Now, along with the Josh Allen trade, we did trade for Tredavious White. I did not have to cheese this at all. I didn't have to do anything like that. So I was actually able to pick up Tredavious White. I moved over Marcus May back to corner to help out. We kept Poole. We traded for Greedy Williams, and we kept Austin. So we have a very strong secondary also. Jamal Adams, I moved over from strong safety to free safety to go along with this uh, 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 decoded 3-4, I think they call it. I don't know. Uh, Matthias Farley for this year will be our starting strong safety. He will be our starting strong safety. And then we're probably going to take someone like a Grant Delpit or, uh, I don't know, Maybe a, maybe a broil in in the draft coming up. Um, we took Johnny Townsend, switched him over to kicker because of his kick power. Raiders were stupid to let him go. I don't know what they were thinking. And then we took Jack Fox as our punter. Now, oh, let me go back. Hold on. Uh, these are all the draft picks that we got in the trades that I was able to make, aside from the trades that we made um, for the players that we wanted. So we got a lot of first-round picks that we can go through. We got a couple seconds, uh, got a fourth, got a couple sixth, and then we got a couple uh, of draft picks for the following year, guys. So we are stacked up. We are very heavy. I cannot wait to see what this team does in the first year, Given that I am controlling the whole thing, we're probably going to be more productive than what the computer would generally give us for this overall as far as the team goes. But again, I think we can be very, very competitive year one. And then going forward, I think we can build this team up to get Gang Green back into prominence and back into competition so with that being said guys smash that like button show your support for the channel show your support for the series i'm back baby let's do this if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button keep up on all the action and i'm gonna go play a couple games i'll see you next time